Yes, Mzadzi, welcome back at your Feel Good Breakfast show. And let's call this the show of inspiration. Yeah. Because we're all about empowering our youth today. And it is your Monday Feel Good show. So let's keep that inspiration going right now. Because joining us is Nivan Ferris. I'm sure you've heard this name before. She's a digital content creator. But most people might know her as the girl from TikTok. So let's give <laughs> her a Feel is. Good welcome. Pew, 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 pew. Oh. It is her. It's the it's girl me. from TikTok. Ah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, thanks to you. Good. Does that does that happen? Because you've you've been around, you've yeah. been doing this. You're kind of one of the front runners from a South African perspective to mm. get this kind of this balance right, to, to crack mm. the code, so to yeah. speak. Do people stop you and talk about your content? And do you get this kind of reaction now? Because you've all the time. How's <laughs> uh, that for you? Uh, yes. It's, I think in the beginning it was very nerve wracking because I'm an introvert. So I'm like. How do you know me? <laughs> but then I'm like, okay, I'm on TikTok now, but now it's, I'm actually known as the girl from TikTok. Some people can't say my name. So when they see me like, the oh, girl, from, the girl TikTok. from TikTok, I'm like, yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> and I get that a lot. I, I'm one of them, I yes. I gotta ask for you being an introvert <laughs> and having to kind of like expose a lot of your vulnerabilities online. Yeah. Mm. That's very intimidating, let's be honest, in a game where you need to be getting exposure and you want to be gaining yeah. more attention, right? Well, what's yeah. that feeling like? It's quite a tricky road to transition into. Um, I do panic sometimes. <laughs> okay, so you're all human. That's yeah. good thanks for Thanks you for know, opening that up for us. Yeah. yeah, it's more of a thing of you kind of force yourself, as an introvert, I force myself to come outside of the box because it's required of me. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are like, how are you an introvert if you here on TikTok doing all these things? Yeah. I'm like, it's just me and my phone. Yeah. That's uh, literally all it is. It's a safe place. Yeah, yeah. but um, I think I've kind of gotten used to being an extrovert when need be. Um, and it kind of, it works out for me. People actually like her when I talk a lot. <laughs> and I'm not to myself. Look how she's We so love it, I know. It it's, it's like you, you keep you discovering like the it. superpower every day. You're like, wow, I can actually just open up and people love it. They just yeah. love me being me. I can me. communicate <laughs> with other people. And you can communicate to a lot of mm. people. TikTok has been a game changer. I'm gonna, the first to put my hand up to say I was very judgmental. Oh, it's dancing, it's dancing, it's dancing. Oh yeah, same. It is changing lives. Albeit yeah. we can't dance, so that might have been the barrier that stood between <laughs> us getting there. But you don't have to use it for dance. You yeah. use it to connect one-on-one -on -one with people. Yes, definitely. Um, and that's a very powerful thing where you kind of, the responsibility is being authentically you and being yourself. Yes. Why TikTok? What is it about this platform that, that you think works so mm. well? It works well for me personally because TikTok is generally um, curated around dancing. And I love dancing. I was the child that, they put at the family gathering and say, show them what movie you made last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was that child. Yes, so I think it worked well for me because as an introvert, you don't speak a lot. On TikTok, you don't need to speak a lot. You just go there, do the TikTok challenges, dance, just whatever. Be, yeah. And then it was what I liked and it just worked out for me because of the old dancing thing. Everyone likes it now. Everyone loves it and everybody's inspired by it. But I'm more inspired by though is how you do the extrovert things. What are you doing behind the scenes when you're not extroverting, when you're not doing your thing and creating content? Where can one find you? Are you, uh, how are you empowering and, and, and fueling the soul? Working out maybe? Yeah, no, yes. Oh yeah, yes. I, I, I got the gains. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, but generally I'm always with friends mm. working out or oh, with my dog. I recently got a dog. Nice. Oh, what kind of dog? Congratulations. A Yorkie. Oh, cute. Yeah. Or you can find me Netflixing and chilling and just like relaxing. Okay. Because in, in this social media thing, you need to relax sometimes. So we yeah. can be human and still be a content creator. You don't yeah. have to try and like disguise yourself from the real world and then no, just be definitely. one thing. I like this. There's a yeah. sense of normality and I think that's why people resonate with you because you're real. Yeah. Like you must see both sides. It's not just... And then going on TV shows. Yeah, completely. Like sometimes I'm also a couch potato and I just lay there and watch TV or go do normal people things. Well, I suppose being professionally yourself, yeah. you've kind of got to, because that can always be on and yes. you've got to learn to be able to switch that off. Um, you've also got a lot of passions. We see like with kids are obviously a, mm. something that you care very deeply about. Um, you now have an active, very captive audience. Yeah. What do you want to achieve with this? Is your notion of what you want to do with your platform starting to evolve the bigger you get? 
I think my main objective with all of the seeing how much people watch me or how many people watch me, I think my main objective was always with the kids because, um, like I said, I have a passion for kids, but for me it was just teaching people how to be authentic. Like, you can be a nerd or an introvert or a shy person, but you can still, it's okay. Like, you don't have to do all these things for people to like you, and that's something I struggled with. So I think for me that's very important, and that's what I base my platforms around and my social media accounts just to show people be authentic just, and be happy yeah. I, I was gonna just be happy man. i was gonna ask you for some like words of advice and inspiration but that's all the inspiration <laughs> i need i mean, couldn't be any truer to it and i'm really grateful that you are able to find this space where you can be yourself and express because i think it's what a lot of us need right now yeah. we need people that we can see in spaces like this that are still having the sense of normality yeah. showing us how they juggle these spaces but at the same time you're still doing it right with a sense of like passion and happiness yeah which is very important. I like Definitely. that. No oh, filter required. Yeah. No <laughs> filter required. Well, maybe sometimes a filter on the mouth, but not on the face, girl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is the girl from TikTok. <laughs> Nivan, you're absolutely amazing at what you do. Please stick around. We want to have a little bit more fun with you if we can. Definitely.